Hi, I'm Max Perez, and today we're gonna be installing this FJS0814 on this 2009 FJ Cruiser. Follow me and let's get started. All right, so here we are in the car and what we're gonna do first, we're gonna remove the two screws that are under here. Now that we have those two screws out, we're gonna go ahead and remove this trim, trim pieces right over here. And the way to do that, just pull from the bottom and then just start working your way up and it should come up pretty simple. So just, again, apply a little bit of pressure out and it should come up. Once these two are out, now we're gonna have two screws. There's one here and the second one is right over here. So we're gonna go ahead and take those two out. Once we have the two screws out, now we could pull out the entire face. Just be very careful when you do this. Next, we're gonna take out the AC switches from bo the bottom. And to take these out, they're pretty simple. Just press on the tab and pull, pull the, the harness out. So that's it. Once you have this, uh, you can put this on the side. And now we have our radio, which looks like we need uh, some sockets. All right, now we're gonna switch to our 10 millimeter cube, which is right here. And we're gonna take out these four uh, big uh, nuts right here. Now that we have the, the four uh, bolts out, we're gonna pull the head unit. And again, we're gonna be met with some wires back here. And it's the same process. We're just gonna pull these out. This is your antenna wire. We are gonna press on the other tabs, just as we did on the other ones. All right, so this is what you'll be left with, these three harnesses and your antenna wire. Uh, this particular car has a, an, an aftermarket amplifier, so these are the wires for it. So yours might look a little bit different, but at the end, the end should look like this on the original. So I'm gonna go ahead and start wiring up this car and uh, let's get started. All right, so next what we're gonna do before we even start the installation on this model We need to transfer over the knobs for the HVAC So we're gonna transfer this right into here, which is pretty simple. It's only a, a few screws that we got to take out So uh, let me put this on the side and I'll get started here and I'll show you how it's done So basically this has about four screws that we're gonna take out. So uh, we have four screws and a strip and we're gonna hold these on the side because these screws are actually different on the sides. So, and the last one is right in here. And now we should be able to pull this right out. All right, so now that we have this part out, I'm gonna go ahead and with a screwdriver, I'm gonna carefully pull this up right here. And I'm gonna put some pressure up at the same time so we can start pushing it out. All right, so now we're left with this board here and we're gonna go ahead and take these out right here. So be very careful. All we have to do is pull up on this. We'll pull up on it and we could just um, pull the, the little tape out. And then for the last one, same process. We're gonna hold the sides. We're gonna pull up on it. And we're done. All right, so the very first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this knob out. So we're just gonna pull it out. And uh, once it's pulled out, you should be able to see a white little stick here. All right, so now that we have all of our uh, strips out, we're gonna just put some pressure and uh, just clear it out the way. And this should be able to come out in one piece, just like this. 
All right, so now we have four pieces that we need to put together. And the first one I'm gonna do is the board here and it, it actually slides in. This is the factory one, so we're just gonna slide this in and you should be able to see the two uh, connectors out here. And we're gonna put this on the side for now. Now we have our AC uh, HVAC controllers here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the radio so then we can start installing the back of it. We're gonna do the other side now. Again, we're gonna pull up on the tabs. We're gonna push this down until it can't go any further down. Be careful you don't break this. It's very important. All right, so next we're gonna put in uh, the black piece and this assembly together and we're gonna run the wire right through here. And we're gonna grab it, put this on the side there. Same process again, pretty simple. Once that's connected, we're gonna push down on the connector. And now we can go ahead and put this uh, back into place. We wanna make sure we don't chew on these uh, white wires that are here. All right, so now that we have our four, uh, the, our three uh, connectors on, we're gonna go ahead and put this cover. The AC doesn't need to go in yet. That's the last part we're gonna do, uh, just to make sure we have everything correct. Sorry. And lastly, we're gonna put our connectors on back again, just how we took them out. And we could hold them down with the screws in just one second. All right, so now that the back is back in place, we have our knob that we're gonna put right back into place. So it's right here. So now that all of my buttons are in place, I'm gonna put this on the side and I'm gonna go ahead and start connecting our harnesses. All right, so first of all, this vehicle already has an aftermarket amp installed. Some of you may already have this, but if you don't, and or you do, you're still gonna have three harnesses left over here and three for the AC. So we're gonna find three. Remember, not all of these have to connect. So in, in some cases, uh, this is a feature that this, uh, another model may have and then we have it here on the harness itself so, but it doesn't mean that it needs to be connected so the first one we're going to connect uh, we're going to start with these two options here as you can tell they basically do the same thing uh, in this case this is the one that fits on this vehicle so even if you try to connect this on another one it's not going to fit but that's totally fine again you don't need it we're going to go ahead next and install the next wire, which is this one here. And let's connect our third wire, which is the green and purples. So that's it. So basically we're done with the connection for the radio. Next, we have our RCA. This is in case you have an amp, we wanna put that out, we'll, we'll, we can use that. All right, so I'm gonna, now that I have the three main ones connected, I'm just gonna put it on the side and I'm gonna start installing my antenna wires, GPS and all the other wires that we need to do. So I'm just gonna go right into the bag and pull out whatever, you know, what comes up first. That's the first one I will do. In this case, we got our Wi-Fi antenna. So the Wi-Fi antenna, we could put it basically anywhere we want on the car. Uh, this has an adhesive back. So I'm thinking I'm, I'm just gonna put it right here where this plastic is, right over here. It's not gonna interfere. You're not gonna lose any reception. If you put it back there, it's totally fine. So we're gonna peel the back and we're gonna put that right up there. And that should be fine. So now we just uh, could leave this wire hanging for now. Next, we have our GPS antenna. There's two ways you can do this. These GPS are pretty strong. You could actually put this in there and you still pick up a signal, or you could run the wire right through the sides and over and put it on the windshield. 
but that's not really necessary because most people usually use anyway uh, they use apple carplay or android auto which connects to your phone anyway but regardless uh in this case we're gonna go ahead and put it right on top which is right where if if you look up here it's right under this so you should be good this there shouldn't be any interference here Next, we have our microphone wire, which is optional. Uh, there's two um, ways that you could connect to your mic. It's either using this hard wire one, you could run the wire, or you can use the one in front of the radio. There's usually one in front of all Android radio. All right, next, we're gonna run our microphone wire. Again, this is totally optional. And what we're gonna do is we just, we're just gonna stick it into here. Right, actually, I'm gonna start from the bottom just so it's closer to where I want to get to. And we should be able to just grab it through the driver's side uh, seat. All right, so now that we have our microphone, we're gonna run it through the bottom here. We're gonna pull this uh, plastic from here, the rubber piece. So, we're, well, and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna run a wire right into here, right in through the plastic. And that's it so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna stick it right here for the driver you can also go in and stick it anywhere you like as well here too but this is probably the best location for it right over here working our way up so now we have our little plastic piece that we could either put right over here or right here whichever is up to you so we're gonna Stick this in, actually goes in like this, and back. We're gonna stick this right over here, just where it catches enough of the surface. This way it'll stick right. So we're just gonna hold it down for a few seconds. I'm gonna pull on that wire, just so we have less wire to look at. And that should be it. So that will be the microphone location for the car. And now what we wanna do is we're gonna tie this with the other wires here. You could use either electrical tape or a zip tie. And what we wanna do is we definitely wanna get these wires out of the brakes and the accelerator. You don't, want, you don't wanna get your foot tangled on this. So be very careful when you're doing this. So for that, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, get some tape and I'm gonna tie these up right over here. Next, we're gonna connect we're gonna run our USB wires and these we're gonna leave right in the glove compartment. So we're gonna take both of them and these we're gonna run through the top. Do not do it through the bottom. Do, do it through the top because this is where the radio is gonna be at. All right, so I'm only gonna run one wire because this particular vehicle has an aftermarket uh, connector here which comes up up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the one connector right over here. And then the other piece, which is this one, we're gonna connect behind the radio. So now this is done. So we could just put these right over here and right through the top. Right to the top. All right, so I'm gonna start connecting my wires. Remember, these wires fit in one place only, so there's no way you can mess this up. It's pretty simple. What you have to do is just plug them in you should hear them snap a little bit and you're good to go. So we're gonna go with the next one, which is our Wi-Fi antenna and it's labeled right here on the radio. It's labeled Wi-Fi. Next, we have our GPS antenna. And we're gonna put it right where it says GPS. We do not have a rear view camera, but still I'm gonna leave this plugged in. So this way, when the owner is ready to put in a rear view camera, you'll be able to find the connector. So I'm just gonna plug that in. So that's ready to go. And now all we're missing is another USB, which is right here. And this is a different size USB, so again, I'm gonna put that right under here. So now I'm gonna do a little bit of wire management. 
Let's not forget our last one here. And for this one, we are gonna connect the microphone right over here in the harness where it has the green RCA for reference. All right, so next one, we have the pink and black wire and that goes right next to the power right over here. And this is what controls your volume up and down and um, also controls uh, some, uh, the AC feature some, on some models. All right, so lastly, we have our radio antenna, AM, FM connector, and that goes right in there. So that should fit right in. And now we are ready to put our system in. All right, so for the original radio, I'm gonna use these tabs right here. There's only three of them that we're gonna use. We're gonna recycle them. So just stick your screwdriver in and you're gonna kind of twist and push out. Lastly, we're gonna put our trim pieces back on. So I'll start from the top and work my way down. So then lastly, what we're gonna do, we're gonna put our two screws down here and we're done. So let's turn this on and uh, I'll show you how the screen works in just one second. And look how beautiful that looks right there. So we have our uh, screen, we have everything is working perfectly. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna connect to Apple CarPlay. And to do that, we're gonna go ahead and click on Bluetooth. And we're gonna do a search either on the radio or on my phone. And it should pop up right at the bottom. If it doesn't, we'll just click on search. And it's right here, my phone comes up. So we're gonna click on it. Now it's gonna ask me for a code. And the code is 0000, which is also displayed right up here. And we're gonna click on pair. Now in the radio set, pair success. So now we can go ahead. Uh, now we could verify that it's connected with the Bluetooth symbol here. So now we can go ahead and open up T-Link and T-Link is gonna activate Apple CarPlay for me. So it's connecting. You might get a message on the phone that if you wanna use CarLink, all you have to do is uh, click yes and um, it'll start right up. So this is our system now. So now I can actually turn off my phone and put it on the side here. Uh, and that's turning off the screen, not the whole phone, but we could put it on the side now. And now we have access to the apps that are CarPlay compatible from my phone right into the screen. So if I wanna open up Waze, for example, we just click on Waze and there's my map really fast. It's displayed just like on the phone. Uh, I don't need to connect to the internet because it's already grabbing the internet connection right from my phone. So you don't have to do too much to this. So I'm just gonna go over some of the apps that I already have installed in here. Uh, just so you can see, we have our music player right here. So if I click on play, I can actually do from the steering wheel, I could bring it up or I could bring it up through here, the volume. I won't leave the music uh, too long because I don't want it, I don't want this video to be taken down. We have our map here. If you wanna do a search, you could do it right over here. I'm gonna scroll to the side. We have our phone log. So you'll be able to make phone calls right from the system. We have our Apple Music again, right over here. I'm gonna go ahead and go to Maps. And look how seam seamless uh, these apps open up. They're really quick. So it's not laggy, it's, it's just perfect. This is a four gigabyte RAM with 64 gigabyte of ROM. So there's a lot of space on this radio. We have our text messages right over here. We have our playing list, which is 
uh, what was playing before. If we want to go to the main menu, we could click right over here. So it'll bring us back to our Android menu. And again, there will be a lot of videos on, on this particular units and other units in the future on how to use YouTube and all that, all that good stuff that you could do on the radio. All right, guys, this is it for today. This is how beautiful that radio looks right on it. It's a big, big difference from the original. We went from literally no screen to a giant 12 inch screen right over there. So if you guys are interested on this unit, follow FJ Mod, so you could visit them at FJ fjmods.com uh, just write to them in the chat section and they'll answer you right away so i'll catch you guys on the next video and you guys take care